ago today, we had the breaking news of a shooting rampage at Fort Hood, Texas. Twelve months later, the American-born cleric, thought to have played a role, is still getting his message of violent jihad to other potential attackers. National correspondent Catherine Herridge tells us how. One year after the shooting that killed 13 and injured 43, this memorial was unveiled at Fort Hood in Texas. One year ago today, our home was attacked. The alleged shooter, Major Nadal Hassan, who is now paralyzed from the chest down after he was shot by base security, is now on trial for the crime. This court transcript obtained by Fox shows that the president's 45-day intelligence report about the shooting and the connection to the American cleric Anwar al-Awlaki are being withheld from the defense. Government documents obtained by Fox's investigative unit revealed that Alaki found ways immediately after the shooting to reach his followers, even though his website, which called Hassan a hero, was shut down. The cleric began using a well known commercial email provider to maintain contact with his followers. For security reasons, Fox has chosen not to show the entire address, but it was active at least through January 2010, two months after the shooting. The government documents say it is likely that any long term outage of Al Alaki's primary website will be mitigated by a grassroots effort by his adherents to disseminate sermons and articles. This website, IslamBase.info, is specifically cited. As recently as last Last week, Fox found 42 of Alaki's lectures, including Beyond Guantanamo, which he was banned from presenting in Great Britain. In it, the cleric reads letters from detainees and convicted terrorists in the U.S. A former Secretary of Homeland Security says there is an active debate about how best to deal with these extremist websites. Are we better off seeing what they're saying and uh, getting intelligence, or are we better off trying to shut it off, recognizing that they have a tendency to be able to come up with new avenues of communication? And I think that's still a very open question. In a statement posted on the web, Al Qaeda in Yemen claimed responsibility for the two printer bombs on cargo flights bound for the U.S. last week, as well as the mysterious downing of a third cargo flight in Dubai in early September. A U.S. counterterrorism official tells Fox the claim about the September incident cannot be confirmed, but U.S. officials are giving it a second look. In Washington, Catherine Herridge, Fox News.